A very warm welcome wherever you are watching us. I'm Paul Nje. Thanks for your company. We start off in Ethiopia because Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has resumed his executive functions at the capital Addis Abeba after taking part in the battlefield. It comes after authorities announced an end of the first phase of the conflict. More in this report. As the Ethiopian government mounted efforts to crush the advancing TPLF rebels, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed joined the troops on the front lines. This was in a bid to boost their operation. Weeks after taking part in battle, he's now back in his official seat. In a message on Twitter, the Prime Minister's office announced that the first phase of fighting had been completed. They called it Operation for National Unity in Diversity. Though Abi Ahmed is no more on the front lines, his office stresses that it's just for a while, thereby opening the possibility of him going back to the battleground anytime soon. The federal government under Abiy Ahmed has been putting up a stiff fight against the TPLF forces. Since the intensified military operations, they claim to have regained vital territory from the rebels. With Abiy Ahmed now back in Addis Ababa, it remains to be seen what his next step will be.